Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rome 2 battle for you today and this is an excellent one, has a great ending, it goes right down to the wire and yeah this is a 2v2 battle between Carthage and Galatia on this side and we have Bactria and Epirus on the other. This is a battle I did with a couple of subs in the Discord so if you want to take part in some battles like this then please do join the Papal Legion Discord down below and you can get in with a chance of featuring on the channel. So um, yes it is Carthage over here and Galatia on the right. Um, we'll go over some army comments really quickly while we wait for uh, the enemy to clash. Well the army to clash, not the enemy. Uh, the noble, we have four units of noble cavalry here for Carthage, some very, very strong cavalry. We have some elephants in reserve, some African war elephants, which will be going up against the Indian war elephants of Bactria. So we'll see whose elephants come out on top. Um, we also have sacred band, we have a lot of sacred band, some solid uh, spear infantry there from Carthage. They're really, really good. We also have some Libyan infantry, um, which are pretty. Which is pretty good. They, they do get outmatched by a lot of other stuff, but um, they are pretty, pretty good. Uh, and then we also have noble, mer noble uh, fighters, which are mercenaries. I just mix up the name there. Um, and then some mercenary Samanite warriors, which are very good shock infantry. Galatia over here, which is played by myself, is uh, bringing well. I'm bringing a lot of Galatian legionnaires. Uh, put it like that. Look at this long line of Galatian legionnaires. These guys are well. They're pretty nasty. I won't lie. I think for the price that they come at as well, they're like very heavy um, melee infantry and they're about 800 like a, a pop, so they're really, really good for their price. And we also have some Glacian Noblemen, um, some very hit, which are very heavy again, they're very fairly cheap. We also have a Noble Horse over here, four units, one of them being my General, and we have some Slingers and some Syrian Archers as well. Uh, Epirus bringing lots of Samanite Warriors, he's also bringing... Uh, Royal Peltas, quite a lot of Royal, Royal Peltas, looking at that. Um, his cavalry, which will be going up against my noble uh, horse, will be Aspis Companion Cavalry. And he also is bringing Hellenic Royal Cavalry. He's got four units plus a general, he, so he does outnumber me in cav, um, which could be huge. But I do outnumber him in infantry, so I could make some flanks going on here, possibly. So it will be interesting, a difference in tactics over there. And then we have... Um, Bactria here bringing two units of Thorax Pikes, the only faction to be bringing Pikes today. Which will be interesting to see whether he can use his Pikes to change the outcome of the battle. He's got some Thorax Swords, a lot of them. He's also bringing uh, Elite Persian Archers, uh, Bactrian Royal Guard, and he's bringing his Elephants of course. Plus a lot of Bactrian Noble Horse. And Hellenic Cataphracts, it. so a good mix of cavalry there as well. So he's got lots of Shock Cavalry by the looks of it, and Melee Cavalry. Interesting to see what happens. So, if you guys are enjoying um, watching the content on the channel at the moment and you want to see more Rome 2 battles and, well, just generally battles, then uh, please do leave a like and subscribe and a comment if there's any uh, battles that you want me to try and recreate or I don't know if there's. Or just leave a comment if you're just enjoying the uh, content. I'd always read everyone's comments and uh, Try and reply to them as much as possible. That's what I was trying to say. I was just just had a mind blank there. It's very strange. But here we go. It looks like the first engagement. It looks like my slingers and mercenary summary and archers having to get slightly further forward to engage um, these Cretan archers. Seems they have a bit of a range on us here. I don't know. These, these ones seem to be able to fire each other quite happily, but not those ones. Rhodian slingers, I think, are out being outmatched, but I wouldn't be sure. It's very, very close. There's only a couple of guys dead. But here they go. Mercenary Rhodian slingers. Look at these guys. They look excellent, don't they? Excellent. Not as good as these guys, though, I will admit. These guys, I think the mercenary Cretan arch is even better looking. But it does look like they are winning the skirmish fight at the moment. We're about to see the skirmish fight as well for Bactria. He's elite. Persian archers look like they're getting absolutely destroyed. Yeah, they are. They're already like half strength. Jeez. So it looks like both sides have, uh, like, I'm losing the skirmish fight over here, but my ally is winning the skirmish fight, and then it's like vice versa, like, Bactria's losing it, but his ally is winning. So I'm forced to send forward my infantry, I'm having to be very aggressive, because I'm realising I'm not going to win the skirmish fight, so it's time to start sending men in. Look at all the dead. It's poor, poor men. They're so expensive as well. Well, they're not that expensive, but expensive archers. Here we go. My Galatian legionnaires getting ready. 
Hold the line! All these Javis are being thrown out. It's all these Royal Peltas that they have. More Javis coming in. I've just presumed that Royal Peltas to Pelta uh, just basically got more javelins than like the two the two rounds that uh, the two rounds the two Javis that most units usually have. Look at that! You would not want to face that. Look at oh, look at that! Beautiful. And there we go. We're about to see a clash of infantry. Looks like it's going to be some Samonite warriors going in first. Are these Samonite warriors? Yeah, Samonite warriors. They also they look very similar to the um, Italian swords that you can get, like his Carthage and well, just about anyone else. Like, look at this unit here. Just happily, just to stand here. Jeez, I was not. I did not realize this. I'm getting absolutely murdered here. This unit needs to really get in there and get in the fight. It's already down like quite a lot. That is not a good sign. And here we go. So I'm. Don't know what I was doing. I was happily just letting him encircle me. It would have seemed. And this unit is going to get absolutely destroyed. Hellenic Royal Cavalry just destroying there. That. that is not good. I'm now sending in my spears to go and support. Cavalry's also being mobilized. Infantry. I had a flank going on here. I had seen a gap and I could get an infantry unit through. But it's then just meaning that they were, well, open to um, infantry. Well, not infantry. Archer fire. I should have really just thickened the line or something like that. But it didn't not pay off. So I've lost the unit for basically nothing. But I'd say I'm winning the fight in most areas. Like unit losing decisively. Unit losing decisively. Or slightly. Sorry. Unit losing. Very, very... Um, well, so I'm, I'm winning the melee fight, but I'm making some silly mistakes. So we'll see what happens over here. Let's ha so it looks like the cavalry fight's about to happen. Let's have a look at Bactria. Um, Bactria and Carthage is looking quite close, to be fair. Still a massive standoff here with infantry. Um, some sacred band going up to support the cavalry um, when it happens at Pikes. Sort of getting in the fight. They are doing some damage, but I mean, they're getting focused down by just about everything that Carthage can throw. Look at the amount of arrows around here. And now they're breaking. 53 left and they're already wavering. Not good. Elephants though. We have elephants going mad. And here they go. They're going to just take out some sacred band. And they've already lost quite a few elephants. That's not good. But these aren't the armoured ones either. These are just the normal ones. So they are very much more susceptible to missile fire. And here they go. They're going in. Breaking up the pike line of their own forces. That's not good. Not good, but they are back under control, so that is good. And now we have uh, Carthage sending over his general. He's taking out some of the uh, archers that are here, and he's, which were getting a nice little flanking shot on my Glacian Legionnaires. Um, and Epris has found a gap through. He has found another gap through. It's basically the same gap that I um, took out or uh, used. And now it's now we have a problem. So my general is now fighting Aspis Companion Cavalry. It is actually winning. I'm sending in art. Actually, I'm not sending in archers. It looked like I was. They're getting very, very close. But we have a huge mess of infantry and cavalry over here. Interesting to see who wins this. Whoever wins this probably actually will probably win this engagement because there's so much cavalry engaged here. I'm pulling out some noble horse. I'm going to try and flank around or try and deal with this Hellenic Royal Cavalry that's just taking names. I don't like it. Just look at this. This is not good. They're getting some kills, but as the archers, but I mean, they're just like, look at that. That is nasty. Into the back of these Glacian Legionnaires, and they're just, they're, that's turning the tide of the battle. Like, I was winning this uh, engagement, and I was going to win this engagement. But with, like, this cavalry just charging in constantly, this is not good. But it does look like Carthage is winning the infantry fight here. Um, it's just these elephants left, which are down to just one. That's not good. One unit left, wow. And he's just got some elite Persian archers left, and he's got his elephants now engaged over here. So this is going to be huge. He's got Hellenic, Hellenic cataphracts up against elephants. We also have some noble cavalry in here. Very, very good. This is uh, looking very, very good for Carthage anyway. Now we have the generals. The generals is gonna be a clash of generals. Who will win this? Nice little charge. He's got the like the diamond formation going on. He's just caught the general. Carthage could be in trouble here. Carthage is very much in trouble actually. If he loses his general, he could turn the tide of the battle over here. Like I mean, Bactria has not got much left, like infantry-wise. But he's got a lot of strong cavalry and he's got actually no, he's just run out of elephants. 
But over here, it doesn't look so good e either for me. I've lost my general, so I'm down to, well, some legionnaire units, some cavalry on my spears, and some archers. But that is it. So the, we've got to see if we can just do as much damage as possible now, which is what I was trying to do. I was like, right, I'm going to do as much damage as possible to um, Epirus just to give Carthage, who I'm pretty sure is going to win this fight if his general survives and he's going to, he should win this fight anyway. Um, but yes, I'm just like, right, as much damage as possible, just slow them down as much as possible. So, I mean, my Galatian Noblemen should hold quite well here. They're a spear unit, they're elite. We have some cavalry in here as well. But these Thoros Spears, I'm surprised they're doing so well. Like, Thoros Spears are okay, they, I always seem to, like, say they do, they're awful, but they, they do actually hold quite well. I mean, I guess they just, like, against swords, they're just gonna get outmatched. And, like, pikes. But, like, against other spears, they'll do, they're doing an alright job. And here we go, the general's now gone back in. So this is perfect for me, because I can now... This is the general, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I can get a good chance of killing Epirus' general here. He's not doing so well. Look at him. 27, 26. He is not looking fresh. And 23, 22. Wow, he is really beaten up there. So this is all that's left of my army. I was like, right, I'm going to do as much damage as possible now to, like, Epirus. And here we go. Nice little jabby throw. And we kill even more. It's down to 15, but the general's still alive. I was like, come on. We can catch this guy. Look at the... And here they come, but no, they run away just in time. He just sees it just in the right moment. So I was like, right, that's it. So we're going to have to send them back in, and we're going to have to go and fight out here. I still have a slight bit of confidence I could win this. Like, the Thoros Spears are actually losing this fight, even though I have no general. But he's got so much infantry left, it's just a matter of time. Um, but yeah, we'll quickly go back over to Bactria, and it looks like Bactria is just about to be knocked out as well. Um, his general is alive. He did kill the Carthaginian general. So neither side for us... Carthage or Galatia has generals and Bactria and Epirus both still have theirs as of right now. Look at this. Look at this Bactrian noble unit holding to the last. This is an elite unit against another elite unit in the sacred band. These guys are pretty damn beefy. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the purple to be honest. Purple, it just looks a bit wrong. It looks a bit too bright almost. I don't know. But here we go, we've got more support now. We've got mercenary uh, Salmonite, not Salmonite, uh, noble warriors, noble fighters, aren't they? And then we've got more Sacred Band. Are they breaking? No, they're not. They're just very, very tired. Oh, they were breaking. And then here we go. It looks like the noble cavalry have finally caught the last of these elite, elite Persians. That's good. But look at this. Look at this blob that's now going on here. Just to kill this Bactrian noble cav uh, royal guard off. That is ridiculous. But there we go. It looks like the final unit of mine is about to break. Galatian noblemen about to die. There we go. And the Bactrian generals run all the way over here just to stay safe, basically. It's not a spot, not a bad idea to be honest. Bactrian might as well just keep his general alive. It's a fresh, it's like a fairly uh, good and healthy cavalry unit at this point. Twenty-one units, uh, twenty-one men left in the unit. That's pretty strong. It's more than any of that Carthage has got, I think. Oh, Twenty-nine, so actually no. But yeah, they're still looking. Carthage is looking okay. But you could do with killing this unit off very quickly because, I mean, now Ephraim has the chance to just freshen up. All his units are pretty beaten up. They're like, most of them are exhausted. But, I mean, if he can um, get his, well, yeah, Carthage, uh, not Carthage. If Ephraim can uh, basically freshen up quickly, he will have the advantage over Carthage. He will be exhausted and, well, just tired generally. And he's got no general. Which just makes a massive difference. And there we go. Bactria is finally dead. Or well, the Bactrian army is finally dead. The general's still alive. The elephant's just wading in here. Making sure they do their bit. But there we go. So we're going to just fast forward for a little bit. Um, because no point really cutting. It's now just these guys are, well, walking very, very slow towards each, towards each other. Just freshening up their army. So here we go. So this is what Epirus has got left. He's not actually got a lot. I did do a lot of damage to his army. This is probably the most fresh unit, 75 and 72. But these are Samanite warriors, so they're only good in shock. So, I mean, hopefully Carthage can use his spears, like Sacred Band and stuff, just to win out in a prolonged melee. He's got Thoros spears left, which are not probably going to do too well against the Carthaginian armies that's left. He's got archers as well, which I actually said to the um, Carthaginian general, this is the, what you need to worry about most, because these archers... Because he has no ammo left, or he has very little. I think these Peltasts, these Royal Peltasts have... 
ever so slightly, or they're not royal, they're Libyan. These Libyan Piltas have ever so slightly got a bit of ammo, but I think these two units have quite a bit of ammo. And also the cavalry, but we have elephants, which is the huge difference. Like, look at the balance power, it's ever so slightly in, I'd say, Epris' favour. Um, like, the African war elephants are just keeping this, like, fairly balanced, I'd say. Like, elephants just do so much damage. So I was like, you need to just be careful. Luckily, both these... Oh, no, this is a Cretan archer unit, so they could actually route these elephants with fire arrows. But I was like, we need to deal with these first, because if we can deal with these archers, then your elephants are free to roam, and there's nothing stopping them, and the battle's yours. So we'll slow it down just slightly and see what's happened. Let's have a look at the carnage that's happened. Like, look at this long line of dead Bactri Bactrians and Carthaginians. This is disgusting. Such reckless hate. This is... Wow, that is insane. But, um... Yeah, it's disgusting. And then look at that line there. That's another bloody line of Galatians. A lot of Galatians. A lot of Epirus play uh, people as well, though. Thank God I... Like, look at this unit here, Hellenic Royal Guard, one man in it, and it just wouldn't break. Wavering, wavering, no, he's not, he's not going to waver. And here we go, so it looks like Bact- uh, not Bactria, I keep wanting to call him Bactria. They, Bactria's here. Epirus is looking like it's going to make the first move, and Carthage is ready to reply. It looks like they're trying to get around the elephants, which is no surprise. But, no, Epirus isn't going to give over that easily. What Carthage really needs to do is get a quick general kill. Well, certainly with Epirus. Bactria doesn't really matter because Bactria's not got an army yet. Or left. Um, but if they can get a quick kill with Epirus, that'll be huge. But I mean, yes, yeah, so what's Carthage really got left? He's got Sacred Band, Noble Fighters, which are pretty fresh. 83 of them left in the unit's pretty good. This one's 75, so that's also pretty good. He's got a lot of Sacred Band, some Samanite Warriors of his own, which are pretty beaten up, and a lot of Sacred Band. So really, he needs to be taking the defensive, probably, with these Spears. And then, maybe using his Noble Fighters on the flanks? And his Samanite Warriors? But, I mean, I don't know really what's going on here. He's leaving his Elephants really well, wide open. But, um, luckily, it looks like the Archers aren't going to focus him down. Looks like I don't know really what the Archers are doing. Maybe they don't have any ammo. And I'm pretty sure Libyan Peltas. Let's have a look at them quickly. Because I don't really don't really see them often on the back. They seem like they've got a bit of armor to them. They might be actually okay in combat. But here we go. It looks like we're going to have the final showdown. The bloody final showdown. Oh, yeah. They still have some ammo. They have still got ammo. Cretan archers are firing. I don't know if they've got any kills. But, um... It does look like we're about to see this final final attack. Looks like Epirus is going to make the move. Kind of, I don't know really who has to make this move. Both sides are so well balanced, but in different reasons. Like, Epirus has got his general, he's got archers. While Carthage has probably got the cavalry advantage because of his elephants. But that's about it. It does look like Carthage is going to make the move, though. Here we go. Carthage is going to make the assault. An oh, interesting decision since he's got more spears. But here they come. They look very, very tired. They look less... They look more tired than Epirus' units. But here we go. Samanite Warriors charging in. That's good. They're going to get their little uh, charge bonus from that. But, I mean, they're getting overwhelmed. Like, look at them. They're just surround, being surrounded. These are actually Royal Peltasts. I think these ones... Yeah, these are Royal Peltasts. Samanite Warriors are here. But yeah, the Royal Peltas broken just like that. That's not good. And here we go. It looks like we're going to see a charge in a moment. Thor Spear is coming to support. That's good. Oh, luckily, Carthage just decided that's not going to happen. He's not going to just fall for that trap. We're going to have a little sort of surrounding there by Sacred Band. We have Swords now going in to deal with these archers. Looks like they must have run out of ammo. Clearly didn't have a lot left. Rodian Slingers. What? Look at this. This is a huge break. But, I mean, it's come down right to the last few mo minutes. Can Carthage hold long enough, though, with his uh, lack of general? But, uh, I mean, he's getting shot at quite a lot here with his throw of spears. Very good use of the javis. But here come the elephants coming into the side. I think they're going for the general. And in they come. I mean, that wasn't a great charge. But elephants charging against cavalry never looks that cool. It's not quite like Lord of the Rings with, like, the huge elephants when they just swing their tusks and then like carry go flying in the air. 
But they are actually... Oh no, the cavalry for Carthage is breaking. And I mean, some of the Thoros spears are also breaking. Bactria is breaking or wavering. That's kind of to be expected, I guess. And the infantry fight is won. And I'd say, looking at the balance of power, it is definitely going to be Carthage that takes the day and saves my ass, basically. I did not do a great job. I didn't job. I did not cover myself in glory. But a victory we have. So we'll end the replay and have a look at the end results. Um, yet my cavalry didn't do so great. It's a bit of a shame I put so much money into their XP as well. Only getting like 43 kills the best. Um, Glacian Legionnaires getting 114, 128 uh, and 103. That's not bad. And some of them not doing so well. Like this one getting 17. That's probably the one that flanked around and got massacred by Javis. Well not Javis, but just by missiles. Um, and then my spears actually did okay as well. Getting 100 and 121. But that's about it. My arch is getting 73. That's not actually bad, but it's not great. Um, Microsoft PowerPoint, who played his Carthage. 104 kills with his African War Offense. Very, very good. Um, his cavalry getting 80... Uh, actually, 92 kills. That's very... That's even better. Um, Libyan Pelas getting 105 kills. So they did really well with their Javis. Um, his Cretan Arch is getting 122. Uh, the best unit there. They did very well. 287 uh, kills with his Mercy Noble Fires. These guys always do well. They perform very, 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 very well. They're a tanky unit. And 201 from the other. That's very good. His Libyan Infantry getting 100 kills. Actually very good for this unit. I mean, most of them did get beaten up and killed. Which is no surprise. These units don't... I don't find Libyan Infantry survive very long in this... Uh, in these multiplayer battles, but that's just me. Um, his Simonite Warriors getting 164, very, very good. And his Sacred Band getting 120, so that's actually quite good for a spear unit, to be fair, They're usually on the defense. And then the Indian War Elephants getting 116 kills for Bactria, played by Aiden. Um, that's just slightly better than the African War Elephants, but I mean, they didn't live to tell the tale. That is the difference. Um, his hun he got he got 55 kills with his Hellenic cataphracts. That's not too bad. The rest of his cab didn't do that great. But I mean, 55 kills with cataphracts is still pretty poor. These guys should be mopping up uh, infantry units, certainly. His, in his archers looked like he got absolutely massacred, and they did most of them. This one got 121 kills. This one did seem to survive and do quite well. Um, his back to Royal Guard getting 81, not so great. This is a really elite unit, very, very expensive. They're over a 1,000 per unit, so you really want them to perform well, and they didn't. His pikes really weren't worth bringing, didn't get many kills. And then his Thorax Swords getting 145 and 129. They paid off quite uh, fairly well. Some of the others not so well themselves. Uh, Bactria just basically seemed to get overwhelmed in the infantry fight, just didn't seem to have as good of infantry. Uh, TZN getting... Uh, very, very good results with his Hellenic Royal Cavalry. 187 here. Um, I think this was the unit that was surrounding my infantry and just doing hammer and anvil. That was very good. His Sling is getting over 100 kills each. Very good. And his Samanite Warriors are all getting over 100 as well. This one getting nearly 150. So that, they perform really well. His Royal Peltas, 158. Very, very good. I need to start using Royal Peltas more because they clearly are very, very good in melee and they've got a lot of Javis. So they clearly must be uh, like... A unit that's pretty good, but they seem to like get outmatched by most elite infantry. And then his Thoros Spears getting 86 and 65, which isn't awful for Thoros Spears. Um, but they clearly just got outmatched in the end of the game there against Carthage. Um, and that cost them really. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed this battle, then please do leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. and want to join the Papal Legion. Um... Do join the Discord down below and you can take part in some of these replays yourself. Until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.